Welcome into the Southeast Kentucky Chamber of Commerce Work Ethic Award video series. Today, we will be discussing dependability. Dependability is simply the quality of being trustworthy and reliable. Everyone from our teachers, our coaches, our employers, and quite honestly, our family should require us to be dependable. Dependability speaks to the core of who we are as human beings and it should be at the center of your values each and every day. Within our organization, we live by the motto of DWYSYWD, which stands for do what you say you will do. If you say that you're going to be on time for the meeting, be on time for the meeting. If you say you're going to return that phone call, return that phone call. If you say that you're going to finish that project by Friday afternoon, Finish that project by Friday afternoon. Nothing else really matters if we can't do what we say we will do. There's gonna come a day when you're gonna have a full-time job, a career, a family, what feels like a mountain of responsibility. And it's gonna require that you be a dependable person to be successful. So let me share a few things that I think you can do to give you a better chance to be a more dependable person in addition to doing what you say you will do. Number one, be organized. How messy is your desk? How messy is your locker? How messy is your car? Sometimes people who are messy struggle to be organized because they don't know what's next. Being organized means that you have a great to-do list and that you take that to-do list and you prioritize that list by the things that are most important and need to be done. Number two, don't overpromise. If you know you can't finish that project by Friday afternoon, then don't promise that you can. If you know you can't be on time for that meeting, don't say that you can. Sometimes people overpromise and it keeps them from doing what they say they will do and being dependable. And lastly, be consistent. It's been said that it takes 21 days to develop a new habit. So develop good habits so that you can be dependable all the time and not just half of the time. As you go through life and are looking for success and great work ethic, it's important that you are a dependable person so that the people that mean the most to you can depend on you. So be dependable. Welcome back in to the Southeast Kentucky Chamber of Commerce Work Ethic Award video series. Today we will be talking about cooperation. Cooperation is simply the action of someone who is being helpful by doing what is wanted or asked. Cooperation is a team effort because today we are all part of a team. Today for you that may be a sports team, it could be a club, or maybe even your part-time job. But today and for the rest of your life, we will always be part of a team in some capacity. And great teams can only be successful when they have cooperative people as part of the team. Lack of cooperation amongst a team leads to lack of success, lack of results, and potentially the failure of that team or organization. When we think about diversity amongst a team, everyone brings different talents, skills, and abilities to a team. And those different skills, talents, and abilities, when blended together, is when the most successful teams thrive. But lack of cooperation sometimes will limit those teams from ever reaching the success that they possibly could. So why today do employers look for cooperative people to be a part of their team? Number one, cooperative people increase productivity of an organization. So teams with Cooperative people tend to sell more, they manufacture more, they deliver more, or they serve more people. And guess what? When your company is successful, then you have a better chance of being successful as well. Number two, cooperative people typically bring great ideas. And guess what? Organizations want great ideas from their employees. Steve Jobs once said, why should we go hire smart people and tell them what to do? We want to go hire smart people so they can tell us what to do. So know that going in, being cooperative means that you're working for an employer that wants to hear your ideas to make the company better. And then lastly, cooperative people bring increased efficiency to a team. So it's not always about working harder. 
Sometimes it's about working smarter. Cooperative people tend to look for ideas that can make the company better and more efficient. So I challenge you today as you go through your current teams and you navigate the paths of life in the future, be open to be cooperative and to bring new ideas to any team that you're a part of. And that's when teams will truly find success. Welcome back into the Southeast Kentucky Chamber of Commerce Work Ethic Award video series. Today, we will be talking about respectfulness. Respect is simply having courteous regard for other people's feelings or a feeling of deep admiration for someone or something based on their qualities, their abilities, or their achievements. Respectfulness means that we are showing proper respect to others. You may have heard it said, I respect their wishes, I respect their privacy, or I respect the authority of my teacher, my principal, or my boss. We can show respect on a daily basis in very simple ways, in ways just as easy as saying please and thank you, saying yes sir, no sir, yes ma'am, no ma'am. It's being kind to other people, even when you're upset, which is not always easy. And it's also understanding that everyone that you deal with on a daily basis is going through something that you know nothing about. So show great compassion to others and a high amount of respect. So here are a few ways that you can show more respect in the workplace or at school or as a part of your team. Number one is be responsive to the needs of others. Respond to emails, phone calls, and texts in an appropriate amount of time. Also understand that what you do on a daily basis impacts other people on your team. So do your part and be responsive to the needs of others. Number two, if you see inappropriate or disrespectful behavior, raise your hand. Everyone deserves to be treated with the proper amount of respect. So if you see something that just don't feel right, raise your hand and share that with the proper person who can take action. And then lastly, take ownership. If you do something wrong, or if you have failed to follow a policy or procedure, don't cover it up. Raise your hand and say, I made a mistake, apologize and move in the right direction. In those situations, not only are you having respect for the person that you work for or work with, you're also showing a great amount of respect for who you are as a human being. Of all the things that you've talked about in this work ethic video series, respect like any other is a choice that you have to make each and every day. So choose to show a great amount of respect and I assure you that you have a greater success in your life.